Hey everybody, I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. It's been a while since I've done an update on the red buds. And if you remember a while back, I did some scarification techniques on some red bud seeds. I did various different ways that you can scarify seeds, which is basically breaking through that hard seed coat with some sort of a, a technique. There's boiling water, using sandpaper. And I tried a few other things as well. And so I thought today I'd go ahead and give an update because I've given it really as long as I can this year because we're in September. And uh, I can show you a little bit of what has happened. These plants right here, I've got six red buds right in front of me. These did not come from that test. These were all seedlings that emerged from other areas. Like right here in this bed, I had one seedling that popped up, probably was tagging along on a potted plant that I brought from our other house. And they just take a very long time to germinate on their own. So it might've been like two years since those seeds were originally planted and then it popped up over here. And then another, uh, I had a potted plant, a, um, Noki cypress was in it, and I had several seedlings that came out of it. So all together, I've got about six little red bud trees right here, and these all happened just with Mother Nature, um, all on their own. So well, that's pretty cool to have. I thought I'd get those all potted up and ready to start growing, and then in the spring next year, hopefully I can find locations for them to be put. So you never know when you try and experiment how it's gonna work out. That's part of the experiment. Sometimes the failure in that experiment is itself what you're learning about. And so here's what I've learned so far. I had two methods that actually caused some germination or allowed some germination to happen. One of those was the boiling water treatment. And I had three of them initially that came up, two of them died off and I'm left with just one remaining at this point. These other two, or these, this other pot right here actually has three little red bud seedlings in it right here. This was the sandpaper method. So these two methods, this used sandpaper, this used the boiling water, and then both of them had the cold uh, stratification process after that. All the rest of them, excuse me V, all the rest of them did not work at all. Uh, so that's really, really disappointing for me. I was really hoping that we'd get some results from the others, but there could be some reasons for that. So why did these not work out as well as I was hoping? I think one reason is because of my timing. I really should have gotten these so that they were sowed in early springtime, just after danger of frost had passed. If I had done that, they may have had a better temperature range for germination. A lot of plants have a certain range that they need to be in in order to germinate. I'm not really sure if red buds are in that range, but I think that could have been a contributing factor to this. Another factor may have been I may not have gotten through the seed coat well enough when I was doing the scarification process. You can see that I, I did with these two here with the uh, the sandpaper and the boiling water that we did have some success with it, but all the rest of them that were a little bit experimental didn't do anything at all. So that tells me that maybe there's more to come. And in which case, maybe waiting over winter and by spring, we'll have some different germination or more germination from these other pots as they've gone through another set of cold months so that they can have a little bit more of that stratification time. So for my next step, I'm gonna just go ahead and transplant these little red bud seeds that did germinate. And I'm gonna leave the rest of these pots out. I'll let it overwinter, see what that cold stratification, the natural processes of the heat and the cold and, and all that that happens over the winter time and see what we get as far as germination in the other pots. I mean, that'll give me kind of an idea as to what method actually works best and what just takes longer than the rest. So I think if I were recommending something for you to do right now on your red bud seeds, I would say either the stratification or the scarification with the uh, sandpaper method or the boiling water method, I'd say either of those would probably work out the best for you. They will need the cold stratification afterwards. And as you can see, it may take more than what I've just done in order to get them to germinate. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. Appreciate you watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time here on Growing the Home Garden.